Well, well done. We have come to the last portion. Now for part C, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to find out who PQR is. So this portion, there's a lot of theory that are involved, but please stay with me because through the explanation, you are going to have a better understanding of how come they are the solution, okay? All right, we come to the last part, which we need to identify who on earth is P and who on earth is Q and R. So let's begin. Now, first of all, I don't know who they are, but I do know that I have all this solution. Now, as a good student, you can actually come up with equation. So I'm going to teach you how I will come uh, solve this uh, question. First of all, I will start by writing equation to understand how all this mixture mix together because basically is uh, one of them mixed with the other one mixed with the other one. So are you ready? Let's begin. So imagine, okay, you use the uh, HCl react with silver nitrate. So I'll write HCl plus Ag and O3, okay, then you will get, okay, this is actually a precipitation. You will actually be able to see them exchanging partners, okay. So I will have AGCL plus HN AGCL plus HNO3, okay, this is AGCL. I hope you can see over here. All right, so this is actually a solid state and this is aqueous state. Why do I write down a state symbol? So that I know exactly what to look for. So I'm going to clean this away so that I can make it much clearer. AGCL plus HNO3. Now, if I have added all this in this manner, the next one I'll add, okay, is actually sodium carbonate. Now, having said that sodium carbonate is a solid, uh, is aqueous state as well. Now, because this is a carbonate, when they inside a solution, they will actually react with the acid. And then uh, I will actually produce CO2 plus NaNO3 plus H2O. So, which means that there will be gas evolved, okay? But bear in mind that this uh, silver chloride is still inside. So, which means that I will still have my white PPT. Okay, I hope you can see this part. I will still have my white PPT. All right. And I will have carbon dioxide evolving. And these two are because they are soluble. They will just dissolve inside. Okay. So, this is a little messy. I hope you can see. Now, the next one coming up is actually I will have... Uh, imagine this is this plus this plus this, right? So, the next uh, permutation that I have will be maybe HCl now. I will react with sodium carbonate okay i will definitely have a sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus a h2o wow now this is very clear because i can see that everything is aqueous 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 gas and liquid wow so this one imagine two uh, aqueous aqueous add together you still get a clear solution wow this is a very distinct one because i remember just now we did something similar to this equation okay so and then you add what so i have added this with this one here the next one will be my silver nitrate so i add silver nitrate voila silver nitrate actually will react with this one which is my sodium chloride to give a white precipitate okay so i will have agcl let me write down agcl over here all right and this is my white ppt solid state okay i will stop there so i have added this permutation already what permutation i have i not added okay one more one more uh, permutation which is when silver nitrate react with sodium carbonate now imagine silver nitrate we add with sodium carbonate wow what exactly will i get i actually get this is actually a precipitation process i'll get a silver a sodium nitrate plus a silver carbonate now silver carbonate let they say over here unless your group one metal ions if not all the carbonates are insoluble so this is insoluble solid state all right now so the next last one i will get is at hcl okay now silver 
carbonate what is the color we have never seen it before okay so if you ask me what color will it be it will be something that we have not been uh, not in touch with before but when I add acid I will definitely get a what CO2 plus H2O and of course wow AG CL, which is another white precipitate solid state. Okay, AGCL, we know this is a white PPT. All right, with this in mind, with this three equation in mind, okay, we can actually come up, come up with something. Let me do a good container, okay, so that I can contain all this. Okay, let me see if I have a marker. Yes, I have a marker with me. Hopefully, this will work. Okay, that you can see it much clearer. All right, this is one equation. This is another equation. I'm going to clean away the car uh, carbon dioxide and this is the third one. Okay, now let's take a look at the question per se. Now the question here in this part, they want you to look for what? Silver nitrate. So what should my mind be thinking? Okay, now I already wrote down all this solid aqueous, aqueous and aqueous state here. My purpose is to let you stick all this into the correct uh, 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 portion, whether it's one, two, or three, okay? The first one that I'm going to stick is actually this one here. You know why? Because aqueous, aqueous, and aqueous. Which one that we did just now? You have colorless, colorless, and still colorless one. It's actually this, the third one, okay? Because Q and R over here, when I add, Q is colorless. I add still upon adding R, effervescent is produced, gas evolved, bubble through lime water gives a white PPT. Oh, I forgot to write. Ah, this is a mistake. Upon adding R, okay, solution remain clear. Okay, if you want, you can go back to the previous uh, video and take a look. I remember very clearly that the solution remain clear here. Okay, so I can stick this portion okay this portion sorry this portion right over here so which means this is the hcl with who with uh sodium carbonate and a 2co3 and then the last one is my who if i add silver nitrate the last i will have a white ppt then white ppt here voila I found me. Yes, I found me. So from this one, I can say I can prove my P already. So what I'm going to do, go straight to here because they want to find silver nitrate. I am so excited. Solution P, explanation. Okay, in which part? Come. Okay, in A part 3. In A part 3, okay, when P was added, a white, PPT was observed. Okay, not only that, okay, so this is my one one part. Okay, one my first part. Okay, so I have guessed one correctly. Then how about another part? Now if that is P, it can also link me back to my first part. Because I say P is a clear solution over here, and upon adding solution Q, a pale yellow PPT was seen. Now there is no gas evolved here if i take a good look over here okay the one that immediately with silver nitrate and i will get a white ppt okay and the ppt is pale yellow as not white sorry it's a pale yellow because if i think it's this one i should get a white ppt but i get a pale yellow so it goes to show that this equation stick to this part here and if I can conclude that this is AgNO3, okay, with sodium carbonate and together with HCl, which is the last part. So I found my R. Actually, my R is my HCl because that is if I follow this through correctly, all right? So I can also say over here in A part 1, when P was added to... Q, a yellow PPT was observed, okay, proving the existence, okay, of who, according to my equation, is what? Silver carbonate, and I will write silver carbonate, okay, 
and I write so much for one mark. Okay, never mind. Let's move on. So, and from here, I can know that actually my R is my HCL. So, over here, it will help me to solve for this. My R is actually my HCL. Okay, it's R. Sorry, solution R. Explanation. Okay, when R is added, okay, to solution, Every time if you notice, when R is added, I notice that when R is added to here, gas is evolved. And I notice also here, when R over here, okay, when an acid here react with my P, but because this is HCl, and because this is my um, AgNO3, it goes to show that they are proving the existence of Chloride. So I'm going to write down over here when R is added to uh, when R is added to solution P and Q in A part one. Yes, because they say give evidence. All right. So please remember to get, to give them the part. Okay. Uh, bubbles was seen okay and gas evolved bubble through lime water gives a white ppt now i know that many of you that's watching you say that miss selena i don't see the white ppt inside let us say hey, come on uh, uh, uh students we know that uh, the chance of having the ppt might or might not happen but we don't know that as an existence of carbonate so please okay let's be exam smart all right so if you want to comment my advice let's be exam smart all right now beside that i want to use a which part to prove i want to use this part which is part two because a part two shows that when P was added, okay, when P was added, a white PPT was seen. Okay, it goes to show what? It shows the presence of Cl minus ions because P is AgNO3. Voila. Full one mark, okay? Now, let's move on. Now, write a balanced equation for the reaction between Q and copper 2 sulfate. Now, we already know that my P is silver nitrate, okay? And my R, okay, is my HCl. Therefore, my Q is my sodium carbonate. So... Let me take this out, okay, put this over here, okay, uh, I don't need all this already, so let me put this properly so that we can have a clearer picture and everybody know what, what is going on, alright, but I would love to have this equation here, so I'm going to stick it like this, okay. So, my Q is my sodium carbonate, so CuSO4 plus sodium carbonate, I will have copper carbonate plus sodium sulfate okay let me balance the equation voila the equation is beautifully balanced they say balance equation they didn't say state symbol so this is good and beautiful enough let's move on to the next one now the last part give one other conclusion that you have not already made about the chemical reaction between a or b conclusion what's the conclusion i can conclude that q is Sodium carbonate. Okay, let's give a good evidence. Now, the evidence is very quickly, as we know over here, I'm going to use B, okay, um, because I have not touched on anything about B. So let's take a good look at B and how do I prove that carbonate is present and this is sodium carbonate. Well, so I'm going to take a good look at this two part now you take a good look over here now when q is sodium carbonate we add with copper sulfate over here which is this part here not all i saw a very clear green ppt all right it's observed remember just now okay 
uh, the equation here shows that if copper sulfate react with sodium carbonate, I will get copper carbonate. If you do not know, copper carbonate is actually green in color. So I'm going to use this part. The evidence in B. Which part is this? B part 2. So I'm going to write down B part 2. When copper sulfate was added to Q, okay, uh, green PPT was observed upon heating for two minutes green PPT becomes black supposedly it will become black okay but I did not uh, uh, heat long enough and I took it off and I do the last part but we all know that copper carbonate when upon heating they will give you a uh, uh, copper oxide and then uh, copper oxide itself is actually black in color but it will only turn if I heat long enough but if you take a closer look over here at this part that I'm showing you it's actually get a bit of, the, of, of green and it's get, turning to black so I'm going to play a little bit of cheat here upon heating for two minutes green PPT becomes black okay but I believe that even if you just say that because of green PPT observed okay to uh, green PPT is observed uh, it shows that copper carbonate is present okay with that in mind I can also prove that there is sodium carbonate inside Q okay so now I hope you can get all this right now it is not an easy paper but with all this that is in mind I hope it can give you more understanding well, after watching 2016 GCO level paper, I'm sure that you'll realize that it's really very long. So, well done to all of you that finished watching it. Now, I need the time to actually explain the concept on how I get the answer. So, it's necessary for me to come up with the equations, the state symbol to match you one by one. I need you to learn the skills and then um, apply it if this ever have any such questions that will come out in your O levels. So, like I always say, in any cases, if you don't like the practical or you like the practical, please feel free to give me some comments, alright?